NEW AT NOON, THERE IS GOOD NEWS IN THE CASE OF A WHEELCHAIR BOUND MAN WHOSE SPECIALLY EQUIPPED VAN WAS STOLEN WITH HIM WHILE it was in a, HE WAS IN A CHURCH. CBS 4'S PETER DANCH IS LIVE IN MIAMI GARDENS WITH THE HAPPY UPDATE. RIGHT, PETER? THAT'S RIGHT, Elliot. IN FACT, KENNETH ROBERTS, TOYOTA SIENNA, IS BACK HERE IN HIS DRIVEWAY AFTER MIAMI GARDENS POLICE TOLD HIM THIS MORNING THAT IT WAS RECOVERED JUST BLOCKS AWAY FOR THE CHURCH WHERE IT WAS STOLEN ON SUNDAY. ROBERTS, A RELIGIOUS MAN, SAYS HE RECEIVED THIS GOOD NEWS JUST 15 MINUTES AFTER SAYING HIS MORNING PRAYERS. I JUST GIVE IN THANKS AND PRAISE TO GOD. KENNETH ROBERTS HAD PRAYED THIS TOYOTA SIENNA VAN WOULD BE RECOVERED. I KNOW. As I, as I tell you, say I believe in my man upstairs. Once I talk to him, it works. The van is specially equipped with hand controls that he needs because of his disability. So this really takes me around the yeah. hand controls. Brake, gas. Brake, gas. Roberts was eager to recover this van after it was stolen from the spot behind the Holy Family Episcopal Church Sunday on Northwest 7th Avenue at 185th Street while he was in services with his two-year-old granddaughter. I did my morning devotions. I prayed and I read my scripture and I meditated. And I said to myself, Lord, just guide me to my car. That's all I need. His morning prayers were answered. Lay down and look at your boom, boom, boom. For 15 minutes half a boom, boom, boom on the door. And there was the police and they said they found my car. I said, God be praised. He said police told him the van was recovered some four blocks north of the church. It was parked along the road, the side of the road, in front of this home. And um, they found somebody sleeping in it. And they arrested the person. A rear bumper is damaged, and the passenger side power window does not work. And the vehicle's title was stolen as well from the glove compartment. But Roberts can drive this vehicle. Oh, I am now mobile. I'm more independent now. It takes me all to my places, my doctor's appointment, my church. And now he has some words for the thief. Well, for the man who took it, he must learn to take responsibilities for his actions. He shouldn't have done this. I'm a little disabled man. You can't do that to me. Now, Roberts tells me he believes the thief was able to drive away with his van because he discovered a spare key that he had hidden in his glove compartment. So far, that suspect has not been identified. Charges are pending. We're live in Miami Gardens. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Elliot?